Hello viewers and welcome to Brands Hatch on this beautiful, glorious, sunny day. Well, I would say beautiful, but things like that happen and that is in the first corner. So as you can expect, this race went swimmingly well. As we pull off the start line, we jump it straight into second gear, trying to reduce that wheel spin, getting caught up behind the slow Bentley in front. It is a big old bus and I go left thinking everything's safe to get past the Bentley and clearly it was not. Never mind, we still gained a few positions <laughs> overall because everybody decided to go into the sandpit to make a sandcastle. Anyway, coming down to turn three, we are surviving behind the Porsche. The Porsche is quite aggressive in their movements, so I'm going to give them a wide berth. And this is why you have trust issues in this game because, <laughs> yeah, it's, things like that happen. Get rear-ended straight into the Porsche. Luckily enough, no penalty from it. So I'm going to go up the left hand side of the Porsche. The Porsche decides that there's not enough room, so I get shoved off the track. Thanks buddy, that is much appreciated. Never mind that uh, Dodge Viper went flying somewhere and I'm stuck behind the world's twitchiest Corvette C8. So I have no idea what they're using there, but paying issue is an issue right there. I then get rear-ended by the Honda behind me, or is it a Nakura, whatever it is behind me and get put back straight another person is off track i am trying to give a wide berth to that corvette in front i don't like the way it is because if you've got a ping issue like that and i'm beside them they might not know i am there and i don't want to be rammed off the track again but luckily enough the corvette made the porsche go off track must be because of the twitchiness i don't mind a bit of that i've got my place back from that porsche go up on the inside of the corvette there's plenty of room along here there's no reason to be argy-bargy about it. So do go through this part slowly, looking for where they are. I can hear them, see them, and now I've got to outbreak them. Down to second gear, turning in, and you can see the two cars in front are colliding with each other. Right, out of this corner, power on, let's see what we can make this move on this BMW on the inside. Do give them a little touch, the Honda then dive bombs up the inside, or Okura. Um, I'm going to keep saying Honda, so just correct me in the comments, I'm sure and i get a 0 0.5 second penalty yeah we all came together there and i did do the initial contact along the bmw but i think we all should have got a penalty there or all let off not just me you know on my lonesome the car in front says good luck yeah we are going to need it thank you very much <laughs> oh yeah this this guy could definitely predict the future and uh thank you for that <laughs> it's definitely that kind of racing today I certainly don't think I have a panel that doesn't have a dent on it anymore, which uh, the crew chief is not going to be exactly happy about. But the Acura does make a move, goes past on the outside of me as I am cutting the lawn. The C8 is behind me, that car's just gone off, and thanks in front. <laughs> thanks. Uh, do get cut off a little bit by the C8. Probably didn't realize I was tucking up the inside. A bit of door banging, a bit of racing incident, it's not a problem. None of us were put off track or anything out like that, so I don't mind that. A bit of door rubbing, it's only a bit of door rubbing. I do try to do the old switcheroo on them here and go up the inside. They are going quite deep, to be fair. Going down the second gear, turning in as tight as I can, trying to give as much space as I can to everybody. Um, you can't trust anybody, clearly, in this race. And trying to catch up to the Cura in front now we are in p7 breaking out the 100 meter ball down the third gear coasting it round and accelerating out the other side up here we go along this back straight where this car does suffer a little bit but lucky enough i do have the slipstream from the car in front and the corvette is quite far behind breaking again at 100 meter ball down to about 100 miles per hour 95 to 100 coasting it around this corner looking out for the 100 meter board again on your left hand side Breaking down the third gear, coasting it over the curve as much as you can so you can get a better exit. Coming down here, looking again for the 100 meter board. Breaking down the third gear over the curve again, really trying to maximize those corners. 100 meter board down to second or third gear, depending on your ratio. And accelerating out the other side. Your curve goes off track, so I'm going to push and move on them right now. I am going to try and keep as wide as I can because I do not fancy another panel dented. I will be absolutely in hot water when I come back into the pits later on at the end of the race. Anyway, start of lap 4, we are in P6, which is quite a good position considering we started in, what was it, P18 I think it was? We ended up in P18 anyway. 
up the hill we go 100 meter board braking down to second gear tucking it into the curb the Kura does a late dive bomb the inside there doesn't work out and they surrender that position so thank you very much Leo and that was much appreciated surprisingly enough though after that initial contact it did really back off I expected a bit more of them catching up to me I am going a bit slow through this corner here it's not my optimal corner that one it's something I need to work on but the back end of this track I am pretty comfortable with just that corner there just can't seem to get it right anyway breaking the 100 meter board down the fourth gear coasting it around 100 miles per hour accelerating to the left hand side looking out for the 100 meter board and breaking over the curb we go just like that really maximizing the track limits and powering on through you can see the time we've gained from the curb behind us we've really pulled away from them there keeping up on your right hand side looking out for 100 meter board breaking hard down to third gear and accelerating on the other side I like to point out as well I am not running ABS in this race I turned it off to try and learn to drive a bit quicker and really maximize a bit more of a braking effort and not just hammer on let the ABS do the job and then let off when I'm in the corner it's more of trying to finesse it a bit better than what I have already been driving because I've become a little bit lazy anyway up the hill 100 meter board braking down a second gear tucking it into that corner as much as you can over the curb accelerating downhill back over to the right hand side looking out for the 100 meter board and a braking over the curb we go bring it over to the right hand side just be mindful not to go too far up that bank else you will get a penalty breaking again 100 meter board taking it wide and coming back in that's much better starting to get in a bit of a rhythm it's a shame it took the whole five laps but you know there's always next time <laughs> so a little bit annoyed i got the 0.5 second penalty so i must be mindful of trying to keep away from neil behind me the are 0.5 seconds away in front behind porsche goes off in front as two porsches in front brilliant so let's see if we can make a move on one of them here we go up the inside breaking the 100 meter board over the curb we go really trying to force our way through breaking again 100 meter board and posting it round like i say this car shines in the handling department so luckily enough i've created a gap between me and leo behind by using a porsche as a barrier a shame I can't overtake this. Where's that guy come from? <laughs> on the last lap of the last corner, someone's had a bad day. Oh, I thought I had it rough to start with. <laughs> they had it rough at the end with. <laughs> anyway, finish the race. We have P5 position overall. Not too bad. Not too bad, I'd say. I'd like to take a moment to thank our channel members, which is Andy Good and Jeffrey Anderson. Right, on to Mugello. Again, I chose not to qualify for this race. The main reason actually I'm not qualifying in the Audi TT is mainly due to the fact that the Audi is not the quickest off the line. As you can see now, I'm wheel spinning off the line, I took myself to the right out of the way because I don't fancy being punted around. Um, the problem is, like I say, is the amount of the wheel spin coming off the line, everybody in the P1, P2, P3, P4 is going to just swarm you and it's just not worth it. Where right now you can see a bit more chaos and rups in front we do gain a few places we can start making ground up on the cars and try and see if we can get pole towards the end that's the theory anyway sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work it is what it is coming down here breaking down the third gear over the curb and left hand side and bring it back over the curb on the right hand side accelerating out the corner usually go through a little bit faster try and maximize the track width but i'm catching up to the corvette c8 in front right the lexus is in front of that the lexus is a very quick car but i don't think it's so quick in the corners as two cars are off track the lexus has a moment for some reason and i capitalize on what about three places then <laughs> anyway we are on p8 now lexus is in front as well that car is going to the beach and meeting the wall at the same time well that's another place gaze on p7 position um can't grumble at that lexus is having a little bit of a moment coming out of that corner like i said that car is an absolute animal i gave it a quick drive and uh my drive resulted in a lot of spinning like that car did i was going to look up the inside here but as the lexus was closing the door decided to back out unsure whether they knew i was beside them or not it's not a chance i'm willing to take rather back out of position and let them mess up than uh me getting messed up 
that's the best way of putting it as simple as it is good at the inside of the lexus though try and make a move knowing i don't have the power you see the uh black car is getting away from us lexus is going to zoom past us like we're standing still i'm going to try and claw a bit of slipstream from them you see this that car is just quick it's unreally quick like anyway looking out for the 100 meter board breaking down to third gear coasting it around this corner and accelerating up the hill we go now this is where this car is going to shine through the s's over the curb on the left hand side bring it back over the curb on the right side over the sausages and accelerating out the other side the car in front has a moment again coming out that corner but doesn't put themselves off which is quite lucky really they did hold that slide pretty well i am having to break through this latter s due to how slow the cars are going in front and i have to be mindful of that the slower they go the quicker the cars behind are all going to catch up so i need to try and find a way to get past them looking out for the left hand side over the curb on your right hand side go a little bit too deep over the grass but i make a move on that lexus and over the curb we go accelerating up the hill and then keep into your left hand side looking out for the crane on the right or the camera breaking down to third gear over the curb on your right hand side keep it over to the right a little bit and bring it back over the left over the sausage and going back over to the right hand curb like i say you got to really use the curbs on this track to really maximize your cornering ability now i'm looking out for we have that car in front we have a mercedes in front of that i'm not too sure what that black car is let me know down in the comments below what that black car is uh, i can't remember off the top of my head right now but we have the Mercedes in front of that. Now that Mercedes is quick in a straight line. But I don't think it's very quick in the corners. So hopefully as we catch it up to that car. We can start sneaking up the inside like we did. In the last race. Um, last lap sorry. And see if we can make a position work. The issue is going through the S's. Uh, it's because everybody's maximizing the corner abilities. It's hard to put yourself in a position where you can gain. Especially a car that's not as powerful like mine. I can make a position if I was quicker. Um, that's the best way of putting it. Diving it into a corner a bit quicker, something like that. Or maybe planning ahead better would also be a massive advantage. You see the two cars in front are now battling. Which is only good news for me. Because they're going very, very, very slowly. And that artwork on that Mercedes looks pretty cool. I'm not going to lie. I quite like it. Anyway, whilst I'm getting heavily distracted, over the curbs we go. We go to the right hand side. I'm going to try and sneak up the inside here. Powering on as early as I can. Keeping up on the inside. The car in front goes off. So I back out. Unsure on what they are doing. I don't want to be punted off track. That Mercedes will send me off to oblivion. Due to the weight of it. You can see they are trying to maximise these corners. But they are being held up by each other. Battling too much. So I'm just sitting back and watching all this unfold. I'm trying to make a position in a moment. I'd rather see where this is going to end up and win a position by them messing up than try and get pretty much like that. Pretty much like that. I got a position gained and I didn't put myself into a situation where I could be punted off track. Um, thanks to the Brands Hatch race, I'm suffering from a little bit of fear of being around anybody. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah. Just kidding. I'm going to try and overtake this car in front. Uh, power rhythm is 2.0.2 seconds ahead with a 0.5 second penalty. So hopefully if I don't overtake him, I can keep up with him. And that's what matters because then I gain that position. I quite like the sound of P4. I mean, P3 would be nicer, but P4, P4 sounds like a winner. Skipping ahead to the last corner of the lap. We have not made a gain or position on power, but we're going to try and take up the inside here now. As you can see, we made that position work, accelerating out of the corner. Now I just need to get a good run down the straight. I do understand they have a 0 0.5 second penalty, but I'd also like to have that position as well, just to be cheeky. And we do. We do. At the last second, they just went round. <laughs> that was so close. But we do have that position. Look at that. They're one tenth behind me. 742.058, 742.129. Absolutely crazy. Well, because I like Mugello so much, I thought let's do it again. Let's see if we can gain again and try and beat P4 position. We are starting at P11 this time. Smashing it into second gear, trying to reduce that wheel spin. Took it on my right hand side, so I'm not causing obstruction for the cars behind. 
last thing I want to do is be rear-ended or pushed about and uh, yeah breaking into the first corner I'm going to take it quite steady keep up the inside here watch everybody else take each other out on the outside I'm going to chop myself up the grass here and we really gained a fair few positions we're in p8 now we're right behind x randall in the dodge viper in front that's quite two dodge vipers in front now look at that we do have quite the lead from the cars behind 0.8 seconds so hopefully the dodge vipers can get the hammer down and i can try and keep up with them in the slipstream as we're coming through the latter part of the s's dodge viper in front has made a move on pretty sure that car is an amg oh it's a porsche Looks like a Porsche, yeah, it's a, it'd be a Porsche. We all made a move on the Porsche. Well, I uh, can't grumble at that. Thank you very much. Trying to keep up the uh, Dodge Vipers in front. Like I said, they all have the power in a straight line. That, that Dodge Viper is pretty quick and it sounds great. So I don't mind too much being stuck behind a great sounding car. It's a big old engine in that one. So whilst I am behind them and they are slopping around a little bit, I can catch up in the corners while they can hold and pull me in on the straights that's the idea i mean you know, the idea's got to work right right anyway as we're coming around this last part here looking over the right hand side over the curb on the left over the curb on the right and lucky enough they're not breaking away from me and that is what matters because the plan is semi working breaking down the third gear coasting it around this corner and then accelerating out the other side now this is a long run as we cross over the start and finish line and they are going to start pulling away from me i have two dodge vipers in front and it'd be quite nice if that one on the right which is a prepsy boy tucked in behind the, do the do other dodge viper and we can become a train it was not meant to be and i go around the outside looking around all right then let's go up the inside and really trying to see if i can make a move work but it doesn't ultimately work prepsy boy in front breaks and i give him a little love tap up the back end going you can go mate it's fine uh, it was not intentional but look enough i don't get a penalty for it either and i didn't put them off track because the last thing i want to do is rear end somebody and put them off track uh by accident because i don't want to have to slow down and wait for them either but we do make a move along the dodge viper on the inside Tucking ourselves over the curve, this is where we're going to maximise a bit of this Audi TT as we're maximising these corners. Brad Bay on the right hand side in the BMW, I do give him a bit of a berth. I don't want to get punted off track, so we do the old switcheroo. They go on the outside, I'll go on the inside because I can corner better and accelerate up the hill. Keep it on the left hand side where the camera is, breaking down the third gear, going a little bit too far in and then accelerating out the other side luckily enough i don't lose that position but they are much closer to me which means they can start breathing down my neck and that's not one something i want so i am going through this corner as slow as i can defending as much as i can and i'm going to accelerate out the corner you can see that's the kind of gap i want to leave from them behind where it comes unexpected that i've accelerated away but in my infinite wisdom i didn't choose the best time to do this tactic where I did it in the corner that has an exit of a long straight line. So, although I initially pulled away from them, they did catch up, which is, uh, it is what it is. But now you can see they're going to make a move on me here, keeping to the left hand side and overtaking me. They are going to be quicker. That BMW is pretty quick. So I am going to tuck up behind them, see if we can gain a bit of slipstream and ultimately try the same move again around this corner we are on lap three only one more lap after this to go i'm going to go on the left hand side and ultimately back out i'm just sticking my nose in trying to put them off guard a little bit i'm going to go up the inside here but the side nope that's not the smartest of moves because the amount of times i got a penalty for doing the exact same move every time is unreal and i'm starting to learn from my mistakes a bit of collision does happen there as i took myself in but no harm no foul no penalty golden nugget right there over the curb on the right hand side we go we're still trying to find a position you can see i am quicker than them through the corner and i can't just don't have the power to make a move on them we're gonna go around the outside just cut their nose off just like that looking no contact was made but ultimately it was a very very good move i'd like to add yeah, I, I thought it was a quite good move let me know what you think about that move down in the comments below did you think that was awesome or did you think it was okay no you know i've seen better either way we are catching up to the lexus in front 
trying to break away from the BMW behind, keeping to our left hand side, breaking down the third gear, going through here, looking at Alexis going wide, I'm going to try and tuck myself up the inside and decide, nope, I best not, the Lexus was coming back over, but I'm going to see if we can make a move elsewhere, yeah, thanks very much, I don't know why the brake there, oh, up there on the left hand side, oh, we're nearly, nearly three abreast through there, BMW goes up the inside, I decide, you know what, I'm going to go up the inside too, and uh, I clip the BMW, I don't know what it is with me and BMWs today, and I got a 0 0.5 second penalty again because of a BMW. Lexus goes to my left, BMW to my right. Here I am, stuck in the middle with you. Well, I've been left behind. Lovely. Thanks, guys. Thanks very much. <laughs> anyway, breaking the 100 meter board, down the third gear, and over the curb we go. Hopefully, one of them two is going to make a boo boo moment and I can capitalize upon it. I'm going to see what we can do here. We are on our last lap and we are in P6 with a 0 0.5 second penalty. BMW goes really deep through there. Lexus goes off track a little bit. I'm going to tuck myself through. BMW backs out. I'm breaking into the back of the Lexus. That Lexus did break quite early though. I'm going to go around the outside. Around the outside. And um, yeah, I'm going to stop singing. <laughs> Over the curb we go. We have that position one. Going around the left hand side, accelerating early and out the other side. Back over to the left, bring it over to the right, and up the hill we go. We look at that gap we we're creating for the cars behind. Monumental the amount of speed this thing can carry compared to other cars. It's such a shame that it's let down in the corners. But to be fair, I don't mind that. If you find a car that is absolutely brilliant. Oh, oh, what am I doing? Why did I go too deep? Oh, do you know what? A plum moment. Another 0.2 second penalty. Yeah, on the last lap as well. Oh, always typical. Anyway, I, you know, I don't mind a car. If you have a car that is better at handling, then I can understand not having the best at top speed and vice versa. If you have a car that's amazing at top speed, it shouldn't be able to handle as well as a car that doesn't have that capabilities. That's, uh, I don't mind those kind of characteristics. I think. And then everybody's kind of level to an extent if you look at this kind of track. Anyway, we have a P4 position in the bag. Lovely, jubbly end of the race, end of the video. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you all next time. And if you made it this far in the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much, guys. Goodbye.